Jump! Authorize. Probe rise! Torpedo to rise! Rising hopper! A jump to the sky turns to a rider kick. Zero one. What? Zero. What? I'm editing your entire sequence for you. I deserve a bit of snack, right? Okay. Right. It smells good. Right. Ah. Right. Well, oh. Dams? I can't see. Dams? Dams? Hi everyone, this is CBGS, it's me, Leon. Today with me is... Jamstor. So, and today we bring you a... Something different from our usual, which is the wafer. The last time we did a wafer was quite a while ago, didn't it? Yeah, I think about a year back or so. So, maybe. yeah. Okay. So today we bring you another <coughs> wafer. So, and mm. this wafer is a bit more uh, special. It's the Kamen Rider Collaboration uh, Wafer Set with Battle Spirit. Mm. So the actual name is Battle Spirit Wafer Collab Booster Kamen Rider. Yep. So yeah. So in this wafer, uh, each wafer contains one card as well as one wafer. But what's the flavor? I am not sure yet. I have not uh, checked it out myself. So this set itself contains reprints. Okay. So there are a total of 21 cards. Uh, 20 of them are reprints and one of them is a uh, new card which is the 01 uh, X-Ray. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, as you can see, the wafers are all individually packed like this. Mm -hmm. It's quite nice. It's got nice packaging on here. Look. Thank you. Yep. So yeah, and the reprints come with alternative arts. So if you already have a pre-existing set from the previous series, these are alternatives to your uh, cards or something to list out uh, during the, the start. So okay, uh, we're gonna open four packs today. So mm -hmm. I pick one and one. So let's pick another two more. Okay, two more. Yeah. So okay. four more. There's one. Okay. Two. Okay. So the rest we put it aside and then we will now proceed to open out the wafers, shall we? Yeah. Since we are only gonna be opening four packs for this set, so if you want to find out more details, do check out the links below from WOC Bandai Shogun site okay, mm -hmm. all the translation for all these cards or alternatively you can go to World of Cards itself the, they also have translation for all these cards but they are from different sets it might take a while for you to find yeah. but yeah so okay without further ado let's go into the cards so we will start with a complete bomb ticket mm. this is the exclusive card from the Kamen Rider uh, first uh, Start, uh, start deck. First, right. uh, yeah. First uh, start deck for Kamen Rider. That is correct. I think it was called Re Illusion or something like that. Uh, <laughs> something like I need, to, I need to go and check back the name. <laughs> so, okay, anyway, so Kamen Rider Decay Complete Form. Okay, it's a uh, Radiant Descent, <coughs> cost 6 or higher, during mm -hmm. either place or next step. So, level uh, 1, 2, and 3, when this spirit descends, you can open the top 5 card of your deck and summon any number of spirit cards from the family Kamen without paying the cost. And then send the remaining cards to the bottom of the deck in any order. Then level 2 and 3 is a passive. All of your spirits from the family come in gains 500 BP. Okay, this card is still stands uh, quite well to this day, depending on which deck you are playing. Mm. If you are playing X8, you, uh, you can help to just churn out all the small stuff. Or yeah. if you are playing a bit more heavy, you can play in Zero. It's splashable. Okay, mm -hmm. Complete Form is one of the better cards that you would like to have if you are starting out the new Kamen Rider set. It's funny because it's an anniversary rider. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, moving on to the next card, then, sir. Okay, uh, I'll start with this one then, uh, on my side. Mm -hmm. So this is a uh, Splash Zapper. First of all, it's in fact, it's a zero counter. So when your opponent summons a Spirit of Brave without paying the cost, uh, you can accept True Burst effects. While this card is in your hand, you can immediately activate the following effect without paying the cost, which is destroy one opposing Spirit, and after this effect resolves, by paying one cost, you can return this card to your hand. Uh, it's other effect, which is a Flash effect. Ignoring the Brave cost, destroy three opposing Spirit of cost seven or lower. Mm. <clears throat> this is a very uh, stable card for a lot of blue decks because uh, when it comes to blue, most of the magic cards are usually occupied for things like strong draw or swallowtail and things that basically help you draw whatever you need. So Splash Zapper is a good counter to a lot of uh, to a majority of decks that uses uh, high speed, a, lo a lot of um, 
a lot of rush, a beat down rush to, to kill you. So this is a very good counter to that. Definitely. The only problem is that it's got a very high cost and one of them is a god symbol. So if you're not using a, a Grand Walker Nexus for whatever reason, this is going to be a very heavy cost uh, for you to use. And yeah, another yeah. thing is that uh, when this card first came out, it counters a lot of uh, a lot of decks that summon spirits or braves without paying the cost. Simply because, of, simply because of a zero counter, right? Correct. Uh, zero counter was a very big thing back then. But now a lot of things is just like I will pay with by I will summon by paying one cost. So this one is just like mm, okay, it's just there. Okay. <laughs> I like how these two cards are together. I know, right? <laughs> okay. So moving on to my next card uh, will be debit. Okay, so he's an ogre wizard, a jester for his family. So it's it's a brave. So when this brave is summoned, return one opposing spirit to your opponent's hand and add one card from the void to your white spirit. Hmm. And then his brave condition is cost four or higher. When you and when brave, when you do a change effect, this brave is treated as cost zero. So it's a it's an old card from the first set as well. So this card basically is supposed to go with Dan O, uh, Dan O uh, climax form. So. Or you can use it with the zero nodes, it's also fine. Right? So it's quite universal. Yep. Ah, and nothing much to say about this though. Because it's just basically drop down, send one card back to hand and add one core. Quite it's quite a typical white card. Right? Yeah, yeah, it is, mm. it is. But it's still nevertheless quite cheap because it rules can go with cost two based on the reduction. Mm. So it's not too bad. Yep. Alright, and the last card that we have here is also within the same universe, Kamen Rider Den O's Sword Form. Oh yes, I hate this guy. <laughs> Family is Kamen, obviously. Uh, it's got a change effect. So cost 4, uh, return 1 opposing spirit of cost 6 or lower to the bottom of your opponent's deck. After the effect resolves, the usual change thing, so discard this card or switch 1, uh, come in or cost 6 or lower in, in a refresh state. If the battle continues, uh, if the battle, it was in battle, the battle continues. Mm -hmm. Then next is level 1 and 2, when the spirit attacks, you can destroy 1 opposing burst. Then send 1 opposing spirit back to their hand. Yeah, that's why I hate it so much. Yeah, it was one of the it was considered one of the most annoying card at the beginning of the Kamen Rider uh, set. It because is, it is, yeah. Cost five and he straight up just destroy your burst and whoa. Exactly. The, back then there was nothing that could counter burst, uh, until the second collaboration booster came out. Yeah, it, it, it was quite annoying for the most part. It was, it was. Yeah, I think most of the bursts are very easily destroyed well, mm. for the most part until more or less to this day yeah. they started printing things unaffected by uh, card effects and stuff like that. Like, things like Alex was getting more frequent. Mm -hmm. And so it becomes much more accessible to people. So before that, this guy was a really annoying card to deal with. Yeah. And for the fact that his cost was five, he was able to descend for the most part already as it is. Mm, so correct. yeah, and a lot of uh, a lot of uh, those uh, those braves that could brave it then also. The, this card also fits the build. Yes, correct. Like things like Momo Taros is one of them, but mm. sure it is in this set as well. Momo Taros, I believe, is, yeah, yeah, is yeah, in yeah. this set, yes. It is in this set, but of course, that information is also in the links below. Yep. Alright, okay, with that said, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, do you, If you like what you see today, do follow us on all our socials Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Do we have Instagram yet? No, we don't. We should probably make one. We should probably make one soon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is this, an announcement all yeah. of a sudden? <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, alright. So, okay, okay, okay. So, on that, and then. Uh, uh, what else? Yeah. Uh, we also have a Discord, so we'll be there most nights. You can join us uh, over there and just talk to us over there. Yeah, <laughs> or jo join us on our Twitch live stream as well when, when uh, we have yes. it once in a while. So, mm -hmm. okay, with that said, thank you all for watching and see you in the next video. Yep, bye. bye.